Parallel teaching is a co-teaching strategy that works well for practice and review as it provides a smaller teacher-student ratio. Mrs. Bell and I are teaching the area of composite shapes to half the class at the same time. Learning target. Students will be able to find the area of composite figures. The purpose of this lesson is to prepare the students to find the area of composite shapes and use them in real-world situations. He's going to do one class over there at this board, and I'll do one up here at this board. So the thing is, when we're talking and asking questions and answering questions, keep in mind that there's a separate group that's doing some of this. So we don't need to be yelling out and, and that kind of thing. Okay? We're going to talk about... I can find the area of composite figures. Remember, composite figures are just irregular shapes made up of two or more geometric shapes. What we're going to do is, we've been doing area, right? Yes. Yeah. We did area, rectangles and squares. What was that formula? Length yeah. times width. Length times width. Main. Then we did parallelograms, base which was time height. the same kind of thing, base times height. Hey. Then we did triangles. Oh, do you remember what the formula for triangle is? Uh, base. Instead of triangle, was half of a rectangle. Oh, half times base times height. One half times base times height. And then we had that big long formula for trapezoids. Kelly, you remember what that one is? Very good. So, composite figures, we're going to combine some of those shapes. Maybe you would have a square, but then there's a triangle on one side of it. Or maybe you have two trapezoids put together, or maybe there's two rectangles put together. So it's, it's like combining more than one shape, but trying to figure out what the area is. So you might have to, to separate it out and find two different answers and then add them together. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to go across this way, okay? 
this is one of my rectangles, right? Yeah. All right. So now I'm focusing on okay. this rectangle and rectangle. this rectangle, right? Right. Yeah. So if I'm just What's looking at this bottom this? one, oh, four. Fifteen. What's my height? Fifteen. Four. Four. So very equal. Four. 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 And what's this yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's fifteen. This one's fifteen times. So we just got for this part yeah. right here 16. alone. Sixteen. No, that's not it. From here to here, from here to here, it's four times fifteen. So what's four times fifteen? We're gonna look at that. Four times fifteen. So then that leaves us with this other shape up here. So this spot right here. Right. We agree that that's sixteen meters squared. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. How can I figure out how long just Okay, so now we've got, what do we have left to this shape to chop this off? Well, just this part here. How do we figure this out? Right, do I know this whole thing from here to here is 10? But I've only got from here to here. So what do I need? This is 14. This is 14. How far was this? 10 take away 4, very good. So it has 4 now. Six. We know this spot was 4, so, so I go 10 minus 4 is 10. Four yes, is so six. this part of so you're right. Four, and that part part six. Six. So this spot right here now is just going to be. Okay, same kind of deal. Now we need to figure out how long it's Six this meters. Way. And that takes care of from there to there. Right? It's 15. All right. It was 15. How what about this way. one? It'd be 500. How do I know how much this is? We don't know. But I know the total amount is what? 37. All right. 15. And from here to here, and this part is eight. Is, is eight, right? And so if the whole eight, thing is fifteen. Okay. How do I figure out this? Fifteen minus very good. So fifteen. So what do we do? Get the area minus eight. Thing. So let me tell me what that is. Twenty two. Now you see how we got that area left. So this part right here is just seven. So now it's real simple. What's my four? Four hundred two. 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 Area equals six times seven. So let's try six times seven inch. Forty-two. Forty-two. Okay. Just so, so I can show so you. So now I have. Do we draw this? You don't have to draw a second time. I have forty-two and I have sixty. Am I done? No. Divide it by. I need the. I'm very good. I need the total amount. That's forty-two plus sixty. All right. This time, oh, instead of making one wrong. Yep. We're going to go to two. What? Okay. So now you see, when we have a composite or a regular shape, I can have to use all the information and break it down. Well, this one we could have actually made it this way, but we had to do the same thing. I'm going to go this way first, but I think this is, to me, if we go this way first, it makes it a little bit easier. All right. So, Dustin. If I, if I make my shape like this and I have this rectangle here, right? I'm on the draw. Right. We know rectangles are what? Formula. Length time. So I have my this. Do I know if this whole thing here is 70? From here to here is 70. What's from here to here? I guess you got to be 70 minus 50. Right, 20. You got, you got that because you did the 70. 70 minus. So then on this one, you're going to do what? 20 times 90. 20 times 90. 20 times 90. 80,000. 80,000. And, and you, you said 180, but then you got, you got two zeros there. So i got to remember, 9 times 2 is 18 and 2 zeros. So 1,800 meters. Okay, now, so we're taking care of this spot, right? Yep, now you got to go up there. So what I, what I have left. This co-teaching lesson was successful. Mrs. Bell felt it gave her more time to work with her group. Using guided practice, independent practice, and an exit slip enabled us to actively engage students and assess their understanding.